In order for the Kapalua project to occur, the DEQ must approve, among other permits, an air quality division permit to install and a water resources division permit under parts 301 and 303 for wetlands, in lakes, and streams. Before the DEQ can issue the air permit, we must find that the Copperwood project meets certain criteria set by Part 55 and the administrative rules written under these parts. In general, the Part 55 criteria are, first, the equipment must be capable of meeting state and federal emission standards for various pollutants. Second, the predicted concentration of pollutants at ground level in the ambient air must be shown to be below health-based standards determined by the Air Quality Division and the U.S. EPA. Finally, emission limits and operational restrictions for the equipment must be written into permit conditions that are enforceable as a practical manner. Before the DCQ can issue the permit under Parts 301 and 303, the Water Resources Division must find that the proposed activities defined in the public notice meet certain criteria set by Parts 301 and 303. In general, we must consider the effects of the proposed project on the wetlands and streams located within the footprint of the mine and the pertinent structures. When reviewing an application for a permit under the provisions of Part 301 in the lakes and streams, the DEQ is charged to make the following considerations. Section 30106 of Part 301 requires the department shall issue a permit if it finds that the structure or project will not adversely affect the public trust or riparian rights. The department shall not grant a permit if the proposed project or structure will unlawfully impair or destroy any of the waters or other natural resources of the state. When reviewing an application for a permit under the provisions of Part 301 and 303, Wetlands Protection, the DEQ is charged to make the following considerations. Section 303.11 of Part 303 requires that a permit for an activity listed in Section 30304 shall not be approved unless the department determines that the issuance of a permit is in the public interest, that the permit is necessary to realize the benefits derived from the activity, and that the activity is otherwise lawful. A permit shall not be issued unless it is shown that an unacceptable disruption will not result to aquatic resources. A permit shall not be issued unless the applicant also shows either of the following. The proposed activity is primarily dependent upon being located in a wetland, and a feasible and prudent alternative does not exist. The purpose of tonight's hearing is to give anyone interested in the proposed Copperwood project an opportunity to provide information that the DEQ can use in deciding whether to approve the Part 55 and Part 301 and 303 permits, or if there are additional issues that must be considered. Please recognize that the DEQ can only use the information you provide if it relates to the criteria that the DEQ must use in making a decision. Some of you may simply want to express your support or opposition to the Copperwood Project. We'll be happy to make note of your position but please understand that DEQ is by law not allowed to base our decision on whether or not there is widespread support or opposition to the Copperwood project. Please note that the proposed air permit is brought to you tonight in the form of a draft permit. Let me emphasize, this does not mean the DEQ has already made a decision on the issuance of a permit. Instead, it reflects an initial technical review of the proposal and our belief that having the details of a draft permit available will help you provide comments. Everything in the draft permit remains open for comment and further consideration by the DEQ, including whether or not it will be granted at all. We look forward to your comment on those issues. 